This is the most important thing about modeling details in Blender. If you understand this simple trick, you can add extreme levels of detail, but still keep your models very low poly. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. We have this box right here, which has a lot of details on the surface, but it's very high poly. It has 27,000 edges. We're going to make the same exact details on this box over here, which only has 540 edges, and we're not gonna add any new geometry to this object. And we're going to use a very simple texturing trick to do this. Now, all of this stuff is in my new upcoming book, so if you wanna see more tips like this, then go check that out. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to add a plane right above this surface. We're going to bake all these details onto a normal map, and we're going to apply that normal map to the surface of this object. So it's also gonna be very easy to export this texture into stuff like game engines or something else. First, you have to add a plane which is going to be just the same size as the surface from which you want to copy the details, and you have to raise this plane slightly above the surface. You have to make sure that all the details are underneath this plane. Then you have to make sure that all your normals are corrected. You can easily do that by going up here in object mode, checking the face orientation button and then everything is going to turn blue blue means the normals are good if you see anything red that means the normals are inverted so if you lift this plane up you're going to see that some stuff might be red on your model but you can easily fix that by just going to edit mode selecting everything and pressing shift n to invert the normals now everything's blue so that means everything's good which means we can lower the plane back down and continue with this process now go to your shading tab open up the shader editor and add a new material to your plane. And now you have to add a new image texture node in which you have to generate a new image. So click new, name your image whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine normal map details or something like that. Set the resolution to whatever you want. Obviously the higher the resolution the better, but the image is gonna be heavier. You have to set the generated type to blank, check 32 bit float and hit okay. It's also very important to set the color space to non-color. Now select this node, then deselect all your objects. Select the object with the details first, and after that, shift select the object onto which you want to bake these details. So first we're gonna select this box below, and then we're gonna select the plane. Now go to render properties, make sure that your render engine is set to cycles, and scroll down to the bake menu. Set the bake type to normal, and make sure to check selected to active. You're now ready to bake your image. So you can preview your image in the image editor by just finding it in this little menu over here. And currently this image is black because we didn't bake anything yet. It's just a black image which we generated with the image texture node. It also helps if you reduce your viewport and render samples to just one. This is gonna make your bake a little bit faster. Now double check to make sure that your image texture node is selected and just hit bake. And you're gonna have to wait a couple of seconds or maybe a couple of minutes for your texture to bake. And my normal map just got baked, but I noticed that the image is very stretched out. There are two reasons for this. One of the reasons is that the UV map of this plane is still a square, which means the surface below had to get a little bit stretched out so that it would fit onto the surface of an entire square. The other reason is that the scale for this plane is not applied, and that's because I rescaled the plane in object mode instead of edit mode. So I'm going to do two things. I'm gonna select this plane, I'm gonna press Control A, and I'm going to apply the scale. After that, I have to go to edit mode, select everything, press U, and UV unwrap the surface. Now we can select the box one more time, then select the plane, then select the image texture node and hit bake again. And now the normal map looks the way it's supposed to look. And now we have to apply this normal map to this second low poly object. And here's how you do that. First of all, you got to UV unwrap this object. If you don't know how to manually unwrap stuff by marking seams, you can just press U and smart UV project. It's going to do a good enough job for now. Now that we unwrap this, we're going to load an image texture node into the material which is applied to the second low poly object. So add an image texture node and load the normal map which we just baked. Now add a normal map node and put that in between the image texture node and the principal node. Plug the color into color, plug the normal into normal, and the normal map is now going to appear on the low poly object. We just have to map this correctly in our UV editor. So to do that, go to your image editor and switch this to UV editor. Now if you select your low poly object and you go to edit mode, you can select the entire UV map. You can just scale it way down and put it on some flat surface because you don't want any details on any other part of the object. You just want to add details to the top face. So we're gonna place the entire UV map in some flat corner somewhere. Then we're just going to select this top face and now we can only edit that face in the UV editor. So we're gonna scale that up and we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna place it over the details the way that we want the details to appear on the surface. And now you can see in 3D view, the details are placed on this surface the same way that they were placed on the original surface. Now keep in mind, normal maps are never gonna be able to fully replace having actual high poly details. 
So it's always better to actually have high poly. It just looks more realistic. But if you're trying to optimize your polygons or if you want to use this model for a game or something, then this is definitely a great way to do it because you didn't add any new geometry. But look how much more detail we have on this object now. From a distance, they look basically the same. But let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one.